it's really important that we never forget about victims and that we fight for them. A fight for justice that took over three decades. But when we're able to bring them justice, there is a relief. Back on October 10th, 1987, police found the body of 26-year-old Julia Hernandez Santiago, who was strangled to death and dumped on a then ivy-covered embankment in the 2100 block of Alga Road in Carlsbad, which is now all covered in brush and surrounded by roadways and a golf course. The crime that night linked back to a 54-year-old Poway man, James Kingery, shown via video conference in a Vista courtroom where he answered to the charges of rape and murder. The not guilty plea as well as denials of all allegations to be entered. Public. Although there were no suspects identified at the time, investigators say technological advances eventually led to Kingery's arrest. In March, San Diego County Sheriff's deputies got a DNA sample from Kingery when they arrested him for a drugs and weapons violation. There were new technologies that led us to ultimately determine who the suspect was in this case. The breakthrough came in May when the sheriff's crime lab notified Carlsbad police. Kingery's DNA was a match with a Hernandez Santiago killer of 1987. Officers arrested him July 22nd. Our mission is to protect victims and to get justice. San Diego County District Attorney Summer Steffen says she's grateful to the cold case division using the latest techniques to solve longtime murder mysteries. And now with the more advanced technology, we even had a few cases solved by fingerprint evidence. Kingery is being held on a $2 million bail. He's due back in court September 4th. If he is convicted of both those charges, he will be looking at 33 years to life in state prison. Heather Hope, News 8.